hello welcome back to red ted art and the wreck this journal where you wreck this journal with me um, you can do it in two ways one is join in with the activities i'm doing the other one is uh, tell me which to do next so at the end of the video check the i cards and vote for which page to do next each week i do two one that i choose one that you choose and we'll take it from there now the one i'm choosing today is this one trace your hands keep watching to see which one of yours i'm doing next so let's start with trace your hands so i actually was going to trace my hands and do a little heart but i'm kind of thinking my hands are a little bit big so maybe i'm going to do it uh this way i'm not sure how well it will work um yeah i think i'm going to trace my hand this way and I'm going to, well, you'll see. I'm going to use my left hand actually, take my ring off. Obviously, you can do this on a normal sheet of paper where your hand fits on really nicely. And I'm pretty certain you've seen this technique before. And I've been meaning to do it since forever. So it's great to have this journal and finally give it a go. So I've traced my hand, put this back on. And then I'm going to take a black pen if I can find one. Here we go. Here's my black pen. And I'm going to do the 3D effect. Now, in order to do a 3D hand, you do a line coming up to your line. Here's the other one, opposite. But you do a little bump. And then you go across. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it quite far apart because I do want to have some space for my colours. I'm going to put some colours next. This is such a fun 3D hand idea. So that's the first part. Then you take some pens, you can use any pens. I'm going to kind of use these chubby crayons that I've got. Um, and I'm going to pick out some colours that I like. And I'm going to do it in these colours, I think. Let's just see how dark this blue is. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Let's just check the colours. Yeah, I think these are the crayons I'm going to use. You can use felt tips, anything you've got. These are just some special crayons. And I'm going to basically go through all three colours. I'm going to start with the orange, leave the bottom bit for later. So everywhere there's a black line, I'll put an orange one on top. like bring the hand a little bit up especially because I've had quite smudgy colors you can gently reinforce one side of the line so this is like when you're doing um, uh, 3d bubble writing you can bring one line up by just doing a gentle outline down this side so I don't know if I cho chose the right pens for this to really make it stick out I should have probably used just some felt tips or some pencils, but I thought these crayons would be a bit easier 
and faster to use, but you know, it's okay. Where's the thumb? Let's get the thumb. Here we go. So tricky on bendy paper, isn't it? And there you have your 3D hand. Uh, and I hope you have a go. Now, let's see what you challenged me to do next. So, what did you vote for? The majority, surprisingly, I was surprised, voted for write one word over and over. So I thought a word that is really important to me at the moment would be the word love. Um, so lots have been going on in the world and I think the one thing that's really important is love. So I'm going to write that over and over but I'm going to choose two colours and I'm going to basically swap my colours round when I'm within this heart. Now as the journal gets fuller, <laughs> it's really interesting to see how hard it is to fill these pages when other pages are quite busy. So I think that looks good. Later I'm going to rub uh, the pencil marks out. So now <laughs> you can watch me write one word over and over. Let's see how neat I do it because I'm not convinced that I'm particularly neat but let's see. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. lots of words over and over and over. I do hope you like this one. It took ages. <laughs> anyway, so it's time to choose next week's challenge. Shall we take a look? So, will it be close this journal, write, scribble something on the edges? Will it be tongue painting? Will it be infused this page with a smell of your choosing? Or will it be write with the pen in your mouth? So remember, you choose, use the eye polls up here and leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see next week. Remember to keep watching, keep creating, and uh, I will continue with Reckless Journal the more comments and likes and views I get, obviously. So come on then, keep this going and let's see if we can finish this journal. Take care. Bye.